impeachment threats will have devastating impacts on the institution Republicans in the legislature have promised to uphold. The state Democratic Party and allied groups now promising to spend at least $4 million attempting to pressure Republicans to stop any movement toward impeaching Justice Janet Protasiewicz. Democratic leaders joined the chair of the Democratic Party of Wisconsin at the Capitol this past week, and that included Assembly Democratic Minority Leader Greta Neubauer, who joins us now. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. So let's start with this campaign. Is this campaign not only meant to pressure Republicans, but also to remind Justice Protasiewicz of the millions of dollars uh, that the party has spent? You even during the campaign? What we're seeing right now are unprecedented, undemocratic, desperate threats from legislative Republicans, and particularly Speaker Robin Voss, to impeach Justice Protosewitz. The people of Wisconsin voted in overwhelming numbers, an 11 point margin, for Justice Protosewitz this spring. And what we're seeing now is an attempt to nullify that election so that Republicans can protect their power their illegitimate majorities and restrict reproductive rights in Wisconsin. In recent days, it seems like Republicans, Representative August was just on, they say they are confident she will recuse herself. Will she recuse herself from this case? Do no, I really can't to? weigh in on Do that. You want her to? <laughs> the people of Wisconsin elected Justice Protosewitz because they share her values and because they believe that she will judge the merits of each case on the merits. And what we saw Justice Protosewitz talk about on the election trail were the issues that people in Wisconsin care about. And gerrymandered maps is one of those issues. These maps are not fair. <laughs> and we could spend a lot of time digging into the numbers here, but any reasonable person looking at these maps, looking at the fact that Democrats consistently win about 50% of the votes statewide and end up with a third of the seats roughly in the Senate and Assembly would say that that's just not right. And to that then, how do you argue that Justice Protasiewicz will be fair on this case when she's called them unfair and rigged? Justice Protasiewicz has not weighed in on this case. She has said that when looking at those maps, she thinks that they're not fair. And again, that's what the people of Wisconsin believe as well. The Republican income tax proposal is up for a vote uh, this week. The governor has said that he will veto it. Is that the right move? What we hear from people in Wisconsin is that some of them are really struggling to make ends meet, right? There are families who are sitting at the kitchen table and looking at their expenses and looking at what's coming in and recognizing that it's going to be really tight. That's who we need to be thinking about right now. This tax cut proposal from Republicans is once again too broad. It goes up to an income level of people who are not struggling in Wisconsin. And we need to make sure that we are supporting the people who really need it, that we are addressing the issues we hear about consistently from people in Wisconsin, like childcare and paid family leave, and that we are not setting the state up to be in a difficult fiscal position just a couple of years down the road. When you talk about the incomes, the third bracket is a large bracket. When you look at, at the lower end of that bracket, 18,000 for joint couples, roughly, not taxing retirement income, what do you tell your Democratic voters and, and your supporters who, who, who say Democrats are gonna vote no to an income tax cut? We have a proposal, the governor put forward a proposal earlier this year that does give that relief to the people who need it, right? Looking at folks who are really in the middle class, who are trying to raise their families, trying to save for retirement. We are always open to conversations with our colleagues on the other side of the aisle about a targeted income tax for those working in middle class folks. Again, this tax cut is just too broad. Give us an idea of what's really happening there. Madison, is there room here for negotiation on issues like childcare and, and this tax plan? We are always open to those conversations. I think we've seen this year um, quite a few times in which folks have come together across the aisle to talk about and try to work on some bigger issues. We are always gonna show up for those conversations and we do believe that Wisconsinites deserve relief. We know that child care centers are closing across the state and that is a serious issue that we need to address. So we'll hope to address those issues this session. The governor made some news in recent days. He has defended his decision several times to not have a policy banning relationships between supervisors and staffers in the governor's office, contrary to the legislature, the rules there. Um, it comes after the Journal Sentinel first report on the governor's chief of staff and another employee having uh, 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 dating e each other. I'm curious from your mind, as the leader in the assembly, should the governor's office uh, adopt the legislature's rules? No, I really can't get into the weeds on this in terms of their policy. I don't know everything that goes on there, and I think this is something you'll just need to follow up with the governor's office on. Are you supportive of the legislature's policy for legislative staff? I am.
Looking ahead to 2024, we know it's already uh, in full swing, the race uh, uh, for the White House. Do you have any concerns about uh, President Biden seeking re-election uh, and, and specifically looking here in Wisconsin, uh, the support uh, amongst Democrats across the state? No, I think we are all feeling the impacts of the critical investments that have been made in Wisconsin during Biden's presidency. I know that that's true in Racine. Um, just, uh, I believe it was last week, we saw some investment coming in for our transit center. We are very excited about the changes that have been made under President Biden. And I think people across the state of Wisconsin are gonna be excited to support a president who is looking out for them, who's fighting for working class families, and who understands the needs of the people of this state. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Representative Neubauer, uh, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, good to join you all. Up next, those exclusive poll results, what residents think about using taxpayer dollars to pay for improvements at American Family Field.